Hi, good morning. So welcome again to our discussion on EED3, or that's in, um, teaching science in the primary grades, biology and chemistry. So I am again your teacher and instructor for today, Ma'am Irish. So today we will be having our introduction on this particular course. We will be discussing what are the topics that we will be having for this whole semester. So first and foremost, let us discuss um, the content of science in the primary grades, biology and chemistry. So for this um, preliminary um, topics, we will be discussing biology, the science of life, plants and animals, genetics and matter. So we will be discussing first, what is science? So what comes in your mind when we say science? Science is a systematic and logical approach to discovering how things in the universe works. Actually, there are lots of definitions on what is science, but I have just like um, written some or at least one of the most important um, definition on what is science. So science is systematic and logical approach to discovering how things in the universe work. So all the things that we have here, all the things that we can actually see, and the things that is happening to our surroundings is actually about science. So science deals with it, may be biology, the life, chemistry, matter, and all the other things that we have in the universe. So um, what is biology? Biology is the scientific study of life, the science of life and living organisms. So when we say biology, it is always about life. So it is the study of life, um, the very common or the very simple Meaning our definition of biology is the study of life. So the word biology is derived from the great Greek word bios, which means life, and logos, which means study. And what is chemistry? Chemistry is the scientific study of the properties of and behavior of matter. So um when we say chemistry, it deals with matter. What is the properties of matter? What is the behavior of matter? Chemistry is actually a natural science. Um, the same with biology that covers the elements that make up matter to the compounds composed of atoms, molecules, and ions. So we will be discussing about the um, matter. What are... Um, what are matter? Like, for example, gas, liquid, solid. So that are the three common um, matters that we have. Or it, right now, it is actually like five or six matters already. But right now, let's just focus on the three. And then also, um, we will be discussing compounds, elements, um, atoms, molecules, and ions. And also in this particular topic we will be having like um some problem solving or should i say there are also like mathematics in this one okay so um for this topic biology the science of life um that's the first lesson on this module one plants and animals will be the second topic or the second lesson Third will be the genetics. So it will be discussing um, in this one chromosomes, um, the X and Y, the, you, you know, the genetics of human body. We also have here, the last lesson will be matter. On our module two, or this will be, will, will serve as our midterm lessons or topics. Um, we will be discussing theories, approaches, guiding principles, and methods of teaching science. So in this one, first lesson will be the teaching science. Of course, um, we will be dealing how to teach that science in primary grades. Second, um, connecting theory practice in 
um, teaching science. So, of course, we will be getting um, the theories and practice that we will be using in teaching science in primary grades. Third will be the models of science teaching. The fourth is the science classroom strategies fostering thinking in science classroom. So most likely this um, second topic that we, we will be having or the midterm topics that we will be having is about how we will be teaching primary grades. And then on the finals, we will be discussing instructional resources, lesson planning, assessment and evaluation in science. So with this one, we will be facilitating learning in the science classroom. We will be assessing active learning. We will be making lesson plans. Um, we will also be making instructional materials for teaching science in the primary grade. So as we all know, or as you've been with your elementary grades or your primary grades, You've seen your teacher, most um, of your teachers will have like IMs na super duper ang gaganda. Like they're colorful, some there are like, um, you know, things that you will be using in mathematics when we actually have, um, I mean science, when we will have the science teaching so there are things that we will be using especially in experiments so what are the ims or the instructional materials that we will be using for that so in this um, finals we will have those discussion and be ready also of creating your own um, instructional materials because we will be having demonstration so as early as now since you are um, elementary educators in the future and um as early as now as you are still on first in your first year so i want to make sure that you will already have the um, ability to create your own um instructional materials and to create your own um discussion so we will be dealing that one on our finals so that will serve as our um, discussion on the introduction on teaching science in primary grades, biology and chemistry. So thank you so much for watching. Um, right now, all right, uh, you need to prepare yourselves in dealing deeper with science. So thank you. Oh, yeah.